300 plus brand new easily. Well, we're back in California. We need to get some exercise. I got cabin fever. Probably shouldn't be out in this bad air quality California fire smoke that's coming down, but we will try our best not to breathe too much. As you can see from that, that's literally been our sunset since I've been home and my neighbors were saying that's literally what it's been like since I've been gone. Pray Lord to bring on the rain to wash this smoke out of here. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of frisbee discing. I do like the course I'm going to right now due to the tennis court lights light up the goals and so you can play even after it gets dark. So let's see if we can get the whole round in. Good run. Bro, on that bird train today. Nice. It does surprise me sometimes. I'm sorry, there is a reflection. Uh, nothing super, super awesome, but there we go. We can see it a little bit better right there. There's actually two older tube TVs, not even the flat tubes. I'm talking about those probably predate back to easily 96. All right, we might have to roll the window down. I'm getting some reflection. Hold on one second. Oh, kid right here. Well, he's out of my shot, but I don't want to uh, get him on camera. That's a really nice bookshelf here. All right. Very nice. Good condition. I don't know if that was cork board uh, or, you know, Ikea type of uh, compressed. Uh, that might have been. I don't know. That looked really solid, really clean. All right. Here's a U-Haul trailer here. So we definitely need to slip on over here. And uh, let me go ahead and go live right here with you. The U-Haul is on the other side. Uh, it's a big trailer. I don't know if they're unloading or loading from a garage, but let's see right here. All right, nothing, just a lot of boxes. Looks like bike boxes. Anyway, we're off to a good start. Well, if you want to do a little scrap metal, there is a uh, oven right here. I guarantee you there's parts on there that works. There's copper wire, there's metal, all sorts of action. Maintenance guys probably put it right there, or it might be a personal dump. Not exactly sure, but sweet nonetheless. All right, let's get the shot of this right here. It looks like just a bin, so I don't think we're going to go in for a closer look, but very nice sectional here. We got mattress. The full sectional leather couch where it's suede and then leather on it right there. And then just a storage bin. That's a great aisleway right there, folks. And actually, I should say microfiber suede that's very easily cleanable. Okay, nothing on this one here. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. And those microfiber couches are very easy to clean with some spray bristle brush, and you're back up in business. And do not worry, folks, the hair will get trimmed. I got some curly locks up front. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about trimming it down just a little bit. It's more like a party in the front, business in the back right now. All right, a super nice aisleway right next to us right here. Let's go ahead and go in for a closer look. A lot of furniture. Let's see what's up. potentially be one of the graveyard locations for the maintenance guys to put back over there. Uh, you would have to sand those down or they do. I mean, that's a nice distressed look to it if you're into that kind of thing. But if you wanted to put a little bit of effort into it, you definitely could sand that down with a battery powered sander. Electric sander doesn't have to be battery powered. All right, a little bit busy right here. I'm gonna skip this set of cans, unfortunately. So let's work our way down over this way and then restain that or just paint it a flat black. I mean, hey, when in doubt, put a little plexi dip flat black on that bad boy nah, not really plexi dip because then you're gonna like scoot in scoot out it has to actually be painted but anyway so i just passed by this guy who was uh next to his van and i thought he was an amazon delivery guy but turns out straight up van life he had a bunk bed above his van let me see there's a rollerblader dude right here but i want to see if i can get this uh nice mattress right here on camera all right hold on got a guy behind me that's uh learning to rollerblade and don't want to get in his way there anyway nice van life he had it framed out above it see a guy right here nothing right there it is a nicer day today i think people are shaking and baking about six degrees cooler tv there's a maintenance guy right there though there is a 
TV right there, just the corner of it, I see it. My guess is probably a pretty much smashed up screen. I'm gonna go live right here with you. Nothing, okay. I'm seeing a lot of furniture though, a lot of mattresses. All right, we're gonna try to make up for that last uh, set of cans. So we're gonna do something a little fun today. It's gonna be called Double Take. So there is a moving truck right there, but live right here with you. Let's round the corner. Okay, that didn't work out. Let's try it one more time. And trying it one more time. Try not to get that moving truck. Ooh, okay, that one actually worked out pretty good right there. All right, we got ourselves some uh, speakers, an old two TV, some books, a cat perch, and a decoration piece. Let's uh, flip this around, get a little closer, check it out. Good picks there, guys. Uh, I thought they were speakers, but they were actually Keurig coffee pod holders or something like that. There was four of them. Those might have been able to resell. I'm not exactly sure. A lot of cookbooks and books and a cat perch and a decoration. Good news. There are some bicycles right behind me right over here. Let's go in for a closer look and see what they are. Well, very, very nice. I actually got caught, but that's okay. What I do in that circumstance is when there's nothing you can do, I sometimes don't even put my head up to see who it is, and they're just throwing away trash and then moving on. So what I do is I, in that case, pulled up a pair of Levi's, slowly went to de-record my uh, phone, as in push stop, because it looks a little bit weird when you're holding a phone right in front of things. So I very slowly stopped recording, and then I picked up a pair of Levi's, a lot of clothes, by the way, nice bike, and then I just simply uh, go about my business business like nothing's up. I took a parking spot so they have no idea. They probably think I live in the complex. Hey, no harm, no foul. Nice Pioneer DVD player, a Dell monitor, clothes, a lot of good stuff. Good haul. We got a big moving truck. Let's see a maintenance guy right there. Let's see if they dropped anything. Okay, doesn't look like anything's in the action, but big moving truck. All right, the maintenance guy's going to come back any second, but check this out. Those are gorgeous. Is that Tempur-Pedic? Hold on a second. Let me roll forward because the maintenance guy is going to come out any second. Wow. Those are like $800 memory foam topper mattresses. Folks, I could literally have enough beds for a hotel. I've seen so many today. Is there a mattress sale somewhere? Speaking of a mattress sale, you know what actually sounds really good? When I was in Colorado, my brother took me to a really good Philly cheesesteak place. And these sandwiches, and they even had french fries, and it was amazing. Taste of Philly, that's the name of the place, Taste of Philly. I wanna hit it from this way here. We got a full-on bookshelf and something right here in the side cans here. And then let me hit it in reverse. And we have a leather couch, a leather futon couch with a chair. That actually looks like it's in good condition. That's a bummer. That's looking real nice. That's a bummer thrown away i mean you just got to bring it out but obviously it's going to have a few scuffs in it from dumping it actually in it's in the green one too that's a bummer that was probably 300 plus brand new easily there's a new movie on netflix and you're like chris i don't need to watch another movie and i hey hey i'm right there with you 
But the thing about this movie is this particular one, it's about social media use. And you might have already watched it. I think it's called The Social Dilemma. I'm only about halfway through it, so hopefully I don't regret recommending it. So far, it's clean, but it's very informative. And let's see, what is that? Back of clothes? Can't really tell. So the actual engineers, now a lot of them, you know, not obviously all of them, but some of the engineers that used to work for these companies are kind of telling their side of the story about the Facebook like button. And what they try to do is they try to dominate your psychology and and twist things with the algorithm so that they encompass your attention span like entirely and it's really scary and so like Zuckerberg's dream is to bring you on Facebook and suck you in as long as you can and algorithms like that like Instagram they reward you for the longer you spend and the longer that you pull people in. They reward you by having the algorithm push your stuff up. It's crazy. So with that said, something that I've really benefited from is first thing in the morning, I leave my phone exactly where it is. And this, try this out. Just try it for a week, try it for three days. This is kind of a little challenge for you guys. So instead of waking up and grabbing your phone, even to check messages or phone calls, I glance at the phone because I use it as my alarm clock or whatever. And if this is an issue, then you can go buy a $10 digital alarm clock. But what I'm getting at is I look at it and if there's not like 10 phone calls or like 20 text messages, then you know nothing emergency-ish has happened. So then I go do my quiet time. I go spend my time with the Lord. Pray and time in the word first and then after that then I grab my phone then I check the things that I typically check but I want to actually cut a few things down sorry I had to lower the camera there a guy was kind of staring at me let's see if there's anything right here no things that I need to cut down is my time on Twitter and my time checking stock prices and cryptocurrency prices that typically sucks a lot of my time so the challenge would be instead of grabbing your phone if you're a man or woman of prayer pray do your devotion time first and then grab your phone and when you sense yourself almost wanting to grab it just to grab it like at a stoplight when there's nothing to check you but you just want to grab it Levi Lusco was talking in a message a pastor and he's like why don't you pray pray for your friends and family so every time that you go to grab it like at a stoplight like I'm at a stoplight right now right so instead of grabbing my phone and checking Twitter or something that absolutely is useless and hasn't changed in the last 10 minutes, instead I pray. I pray for my work, I pray for my friends and family. It will definitely change your mental clarity, especially in the morning, first thing starting out. Try it, let me know how it works. And check out that movie as well, A Social Dilemma on Netflix. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>